Hello folks, welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are, we've got our Laureate and we've just done the Roy Harvest off camera. And the reason for doing that is I want to start doing work with the straw today. I want to transport those straw into straw pellets, but make it a lot more easier and in terms of amount you produce per hour, hell of a lot easier than using the palletizer or the pellet palletizer, show we freeze that. But yeah, so we've done all three rye fields. Unfortunately there's no way of using this as a further production. I know it'd be a good thing to have like if he had a not sure what it would be called, but you can make HP sauce up, HP brown sauce here in the UK from I think it's wheat and rye. You sort of let the ferment in that or something like that. And that's where you get that famous HP sauce. No one knows exactly what it is, but it's HP brown sauce. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to whack these into the green mill. I know we need to sell that flour because we've got 200,000 litres. Well, yeah, we'll deal with that in a bit. Because also, we've been tasked by the local government, the local councils and that, They've been producing a lot of excess stuff in that, like fuel-wise. So they want us to take care of that, so... I'm going to take care of that. Also, so we'll make sure it's turned on. Yes, it's already turned on. And again, that would last us... Ooh, a fair while, actually, but... Overall, not too worried. Yeah, 15,000 litres a month or so. 16,000 litres a month. So yeah, by the time we are gone from here, we should have some rye left over, so whoever comes here next can plant rye if, if they wish, or plant a different crop. And for now, I want to get us back to the farm, because I want to focus on yeah, the pellets. But yeah, I'll get this thing ready so when we do the wheat and oat harvest because they are ready s still so have a little look get ready and ready so yeah it's the oats the wheat and the barley the sorghum in that is going to be ready in August at some point maybe tomorrow but yeah so first of all we need to deal with the fuel situation and obviously we're not getting any payments of it, of course, because, yeah, we've got enough money as it is at the moment, so I'm just doing my bit to help out. And, yeah, they set up their own community bank, so anything that is produced locally is put into the community bank, and it's used for and by the community, so... And actually, something like that is an awesome idea to have, so... Oops. Jackknifed. So yeah, I'm gonna whack this here for now. Park it up. And I'm thinking because yeah, we've got our fent here. Where's our Massey to? Ah yeah, I left my Massey Ferguson down here. So yeah, we've got a tray down here because we also got some a, a new contract here and two wheat contracts to deal with, but for now, I'm prioritising other things at the moment, things we need to do. But before we can do our own fields, we need to sort out this fuel situation, so I want to see folks at the fuel refinery, because I don't know how much fuel they've got us to sell, but hey, I'm not fussed, so let's go and see what is required of us. So, right, there we go, and yeah. I think it's already been loaded up. But yeah, I just want to just to make sure. So yeah, it's got 8,000 litres of diesel. And are we producing anything here? So yeah, just having another look. So we've got 55,000 litres of diesel. So I think they want us to take most of this and leave just literally only a couple of thousand litres. So... That's fair enough. 
Also, we got Canoe Milled Cell. And actually, I'm just having a look here. Yeah, corn, sorghum, soybeans, and canoe there. Just having a look, see if there's any other things required. And at the moment, I don't think so. Canoe oil is taken care of. And yeah, I think overall. So yeah, when we do our wheat, barley. Yeah, so our wheat, barley. That's our oats. So yeah, I can actually turn these on. We need to put some slurry in. That's not a problem. And you can make some soil fertilizer if we get our bit of our own manure. And that's how I whack that in. But yeah, so that is all of that. And I'm wondering, is there any other tankers like 55,000 liters? That's going to require a fair few trips. I'm thinking perhaps we can leave something like this. But for now, I think, you know what, we'll stick with this. Not a problem whatsoever. And I think it's got to go to the former BJ site. So yeah, I think there's a fuel station down here. And we'll feed by our ethanol silos. So we can have a look. And see what's the best price for everything. So go to diesels, diesel. 225, 22, 217, 223. See so, yeah, it, ask ethanol cells. Lovely jubbly. We'll make sure we're on the community's bank account. So, when we sell this, we do get the money. This is purely for the community. And there we go. So, yeah, just open up the gates. Ooh, that's going to be super tight. Actually, perhaps it's a good thing we don't have a tanker now. Perhaps just use this. So yeah, a small bowser like that would do just fine. So, guessing they got a bit of storage in there, maybe. I don't know. But yes, offload the diesel. And yeah, remember, this is all the money for the community. So, that should be a fair amount of money. 3,000 years left. And how much is that going to be? 15 grand? That is 18,055 pounds. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the rest off the camera. I'm going to get the rest of this sold for the community. And then we'll see how much money the community has afterwards by the time we're done here. So, right, that is the diesel sold. And there is about less than 8,000 litres left, so about, was it about 6.7 tonnes or so? But yeah, so we'll leave those fuel in there, they've requested that, so now I'll sell the, what's this, canoe mill? Yeah, canoe mill. And this is going to go to the same area. Let's be careful not to jackknife this. So yeah, about 82,000 litres, and yeah, they yes for us to sell it, so I thought, yeah, why not? So yeah, we'll go and sell the corn mill. And again, all the profits will go into the community bank account, and I have no idea how much canoe mills are, so it'll be interesting to see. There we go, so yeah, we'll go and sell the canoe mills. Interesting to see how much we'll get from this. So that's selling. That is selling, but it's not going to... Huh? Why is that? Alright, and any money we get, we'll just transfer over. So how much are we going to get from this? 40,500. Well, 40,516, but... Actually, you know what? Let's do... 40,600, give him an extra 85 quid. And I think they've got some more fuel cells at last bit there. There we go. It's alright. Cell there, it's fine. It's just the. Yeah, I'm not sure why that is, but oh well. I am not fussed, and should get about another 18 grand or so from that. 
And yeah, what we'll do now is take this back to the farm. Actually, whilst we're here, we could actually said the cat. You know the uh, was it the straw blower and that? No, not straw blower on the uh, animal mix wagon thing for the pellets we're gonna be using because if this works, we've got a forty-five thousand year capacity mix wagon. Now, if we pick up the straw with this, with the straw harvest DLC enabled, well, on and downloaded, let's double make sure. So, go down to our mods. And all the way down the bottom, straw harvest. Ah, where's that to? Straw harvest. And it was a good thing I checked. Like, somehow, I must have uninstalled the straw harvester pack. But, yep, got it now. So, that does mean obviously we lose the buildings and all that. But, we don't need those. Actually, the only thing we do need is the pellet factory so let's go up here there we go so yeah it's been a while since I've yeah taken care of the chicken so completely yeah let's get rid of these jet washers let's go to our productions now and I think it's all the way down here there was supreme stuff. Nope. There we go. Straw harvester pack. We want this, so. Screw it up. I'll put the plant back down. Why not? Let's go with a red. There we go. Something like that. But yeah, the main thing we want is this. The pellet heating plant and I think with how much we're going to be producing we can get away with having a couple of these so if one two three because I think we're going to have a lot of pellets if this works out we're going to have four times the pellets we're used to getting Yeah, because, yeah, compared to straw and that, it, yeah, compacts it down to a 4 to 1 ratio, but let's go and have a little look here, shall we? So, let's start off with this field. So, right, this should work, so let's go and to lower this. We've got the harvester pack downloaded and enabled. Offloading. Huh? I thought this would offload it straight in. Yeah, straw. Yeah, that's rented by us. If I return that, I get a second one. Maybe it's because obviously, yeah, obviously downloaded the pack now, so. Could be that. Well, as always, things that go to plan. Yeah, straw harvest and that. That is a no. Like, couldn't get it to work in that. And where did he keep on getting game crashes? Obviously, it's not because of the straw harvester pack itself. It's a more conflict with one of the many mods I've got installed. As you can see, I've got a fair few. And the first, this is a trimmed down version of all the mods I've got downloaded, so after all the game crashes I've had with this series and that, but at the moment it seems to be fine by doing all the prep work and that, doing the right harvest and that it seems to work fine Ooh, nope, I've got to set the bell size oh well, the first one's going to be slightly smaller but yeah, I thought, yeah, get this one, haven't really used this too much I think I haven't used it since it had its update ages ago where it fixed the issue with the 20 meter, uh, was it 20 meter width wind which we've got, which 
yeah, had issues with like the pickup in that, but now we're doing this alright. So we could do about two swaps at a time. Yep, yeah, I could have gone with the quick quick bail or the quick bail net. But again, I was going to go with something slightly different, and yeah, this is cer certainly something I'm going to be using on one of my next play series. So, whether it's going to be Ravenport, I don't know. Ravenport. But I think for now, just being a bit optimistic, but maybe... I'm tempted to start a new Let's Play series, but I'm already doing three Let's Play series. I'm doing... Oh, this. Uh, Vintage Survival, Ravenport, and... Evergreen Valley, so... Yeah, I may not do that. But yeah, certainly one for... Ooh. We're having slight issues with missing bits, but of course... That's because we're getting like huge swath sections here. But yeah, we have another Let's Play series. On to see where Vintage Survival goes in that. Whether or not we'll still keep on doing that. Or whether or not I'll put that on the back burner in that. Because I'm thinking of doing something different now. Playing on like Iowa Plains in that. Yeah, so they never said a bookie map. But yeah, it's such a good map. And before Evergreen Valley came out, I did not a ton of prep work. I've done a lot of tests in that, make sure things were working fine, make sure things were working with mods in that. For one, game crashes, try to test, and make sure I don't get any game crashes, which at the moment is important, especially after recording the next episode of Evergreen Valley, of where that was like three hours of troubleshooting, all the issues I had with game crashing in that. But, anywho, we're doing good. No bell counter or anything, unfortunately. Should be base game in the next installment of Farm Sim. Obviously, you get, what was it, the bell counter with the quick, quick bell stuff, as well as the, I think it was the precision farming. But yeah, have like a bell counter, even that standard or as an option that you toggle on and off. So many things can we do with the next game while farm sim, which maybe this year, maybe not. I think it's going to be this year, but once again, I don't know anything about it. But anyways, we're bailing and we're rolling at 12 miles an hour. A decent speed in that, so let's go and get a lot of bells from this. So yeah, let's get this bailing done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done. And I think we'll start changing things up by doing some harvesting of the wheat. Wheat, barley and oats.
and there we go, that is the bailing done for now, and we've got a lot of bells, like, I wish we had a bell counter up, and since I'm running this on multiplayer, there ain't an option to show the bell counter and that, even in these modes. So yeah, like the section you'll see your hours played and all that, how much you've worked the fields. That's not available on multiplayer, unfortunately, so we're left to guess until we start picking up all these bells. But for now, what we'll be doing instead is take this back to the farm. I think really it's just a case of starting the final harvesting of the wheat, barley and oats. I think it all done in this episode, of course not. Because also we need to figure out where everything is going. Because I think with everything we can make seed in that. Seed, fuel even as well, I think. I'll have to double check. But yeah, so like, looking at our biggest field over there, that is a lot of bells. And just from this field alone, we've got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 bells. That's just from this small field here. That's not including the, the big mega fields and that over here. So, yeah, that was a lot of bells over there. Also, gone and belled all the other. Oh, yeah, I'm interested to see if we could get straw from. No, we get straw from sword, I'm sure. I think, oh, I can't remember where it's all custom crops. We've got the linseed fields, they'll be definitely have straw. Also, got our alfalfa to deal with, we can take care of that. But I think for now, let's start at least start doing the harvesting, do a full load or two. Because, yeah, I think with all of this, we need to figure out where everything's going. Also, got these contracts to do. If I got time, I'll get these contracts done, maybe in between episodes and that. So, it's looking at our production, so. Oh, shite. Didn't mean to have it on distribution. Lovely, that's going to go into places. At least we'll make bread from there. Okay, that is set to setting at least. Also, the flowers are just going to be in here, ain't it? A little bit of flour. Not to be, we can put oats in here. You can get all the other materials in easily enough and do cookies. Nope. Actually, what we should do. Our soup's doing, soup's doing good. BGA. Can't put anything in there from what we've got at the moment. With the exception of straw. Get straw digestate. Bit of gas, bit of methane as well. Because, yeah, we could do some methane in that, start producing more methane for the community in that. But, yeah, we're looking at more seed stuff, so. We're going to need liquid fertilizer, surrey, and water. Water's in there, it's just manure. Turns with the ethanol. Nah, it's just the sorghum that. Sorghum and soybeans, we've got left for that. Ah, uh, yeah, in terms with the fuel and that, canola, sunflower and that, so that is also a no. So, all that means is just check out some more productions. Yeah, soil fertilizer and that, that's all good, don't need those. Yeah, I think pretty much it's all going to be is just get all of this and put it into seed production. So, the seed and fertilizer factory. And first with usage in that, I have absolute no idea. Actually, before any of that, let's check on our animals, see how much manure and sir we've got. I'll buy some liquid fertilizer in that, so I don't mind supplying that. So over here we've got 43,000 litres of surrey. 10,000 litres of manure in the pit. I think I also had a manure pit over here. So we've got an additional 45,000 litres. Ignore that, that was me trying to do a bit of terraforming. Didn't quite work out as planned, so... Oh wait a minute, we've got bells over here. 
Oh yeah, these are this one, so these were from the Quick Bells, so... Actually, how's our animals doing? Actually, I haven't checked them for a while, so... I'm hoping they're good, so... Sheep are good. Lovely jubbly. Chickens are looking good. Ooh, okay, we need straw here for the cows. Fair enough. Rabbits are looking good. Chickens are looking good. Ooh. They can do some feed, so... Let's do a full trade out. Of wheat. And then we'll take that straight over. So let's top up the cows with their feed of TMR. So yeah, oh yeah, we do clean this out. Like, excess straw in here as well. Oh yeah, we've got so much to do. But yeah, let's get it all sorted, shall we? So right, first of all, we've gone and borrowed some sliced pork, so that should be good. To take care of the new door here, so this is a 5,000 year um, bucket or fork, so... That should be literally two of those of these. And that'll be fine. And the good thing is we don't need a weight. Which is good because maneuvering around here is super tight. Literally, like, so tight. Oops. Yeah, we've got this racer up. And that's the thing as well, that's the thing I love about British maps, court farming in general, and that is it's tightness. Like, is obviously being from the UK, I'm, I'm sure there's a bit of base in that, a bit of biasness in that. I'm sure I'll admit that. Of course. I was from Australia and raised around Australian farms. Or at least raised around farm area around me that is Australian. That is a bit of a dip there. But yeah, sure. And obviously if I was Amer from America, you know, from the Midwest and that. You know, where there's a ton of farmlands, especially around six like Iowa and that, and a few other surrounding states. Yeah, I don't know why US seats all that well. But I know there's a section of seats around Iowa, Iowa and that. Does it Iowa? That like, is like known as like the corn circle and that. Or yeah, something like that. I think it's corn circle or something on along those lines. Which means the main areas is where all things like corn and soybeans is produced. And yeah, I think it was from a video by Wendy Reproductions that I'm sure it shows you know something I watched like last year and I think it was like it shows you things like the farmers and that obviously how like ethanol is being produced and that from corn and that from maize obviously here in the UK maize is more for silage and that rather than you know fuel or animal feed well, yeah, that's the thing, it all depends on the area you're from, that. What is the norm as well, so... So, yeah, overall, we've got 55,000 years of manure, so... Let's go and get that... Yeah, I think, yeah, we use the same thing for manure and... The wheat for the chickens, but... Hey, needs must at the end of the day. But yeah, it's like, this is a massive dip here, so... Oof. There we go. So yeah, let's let me get that trader sec. And get all this manure loaded up. And then taken over to the sea production. I'll park this. There we go. So yeah, got straw in that. So we have some straw in here already. So whilst that is emptying in, got the manure sorted. So I'll grab one or two of these bells. This should be enough for the mixer now, so. I think two will fill it up. Because, yeah, actually, then that means that we don't have to worry about straw for the remainder of the series, for here at least. So, literally, yeah, all this straw here will be used before we end up wrapping up here. And, or do we think of like leaving some stuff left over for the next farm, you know? Thinking, do a bit of silage and that. 
do a stock stockpile of TMR and that, and all other sorts of stuff. So whoever comes here after us, because yeah, when we leave, we'll sell off the cows and that. Unless anyone comes in with a explicit offer of wanting the animals. But yeah, we could do a bunch of bells, get them stored up, and then, yeah, before we go, before we shut the gates for the final time. Yeah, could do that. So yeah, that's the last bell going in. For now, we'll just leave that down here as we have done before. Considering at the moment, the weather is right, hasn't been raining too much in that. But yeah, if there was any threats of rain coming in, we'll then just put this under storage and that. But for now, that is the straw sorted. Nor is filled up. We're going to need a tanker of some variety. And we do have one, we have two. Where's that big one, too? That's all the way over there. Is there one more local to us? Oh yeah, there is, so yeah, we'll go and get Sir sorted. Take the manure over, and then we'll go from there, I think. Because yeah, that's what we need to do before we start harvesting. Well, actually, no, after this, we do need to start harvesting. Ah, yeah, there's also the liquid fertilizer, so... I think, yeah, we've got so much work to do, like, getting things prepped and that. I'm just going to do a time-lapse, do some clips of us getting this all done, so we need... Sorry, manure and liquid fertilizer sent over to get seeds. Seed production on the way, so yep, I'll get this done and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. So, but at the moment, we do have spare time, so I don't mind doing these things that little bit for the community here and there. Not an issue whatsoever for us. But yeah, now I'm going about to build the wrong way around. We well, should get a full head done going this way anyway, so it's not too much of a problem. So, yeah, we're down to the first pass here, being done. Side and that is only 20%. That's what I love about the extra capacity in this hopper now, going from 12, 13,000 years to what was it 22, 23,000 years? Well, about for now, so 7, 4, 21. Yeah, so 2,400, yeah, about 23,000 years. It's a little bit of a bug there with the train, but that promise has always been a bit problematic for us, so all in all, ain't too bad. 
And yeah, with this first load here, I do have the big lorry over here rather than the small trailer. I think what we can just do from there is take the lorry net, fill up the chicken coops, and that'll take about 30 or so thousand years. And the rest will just chuck into the sea production and we'll store it at the side of now up there. Because yeah, we can't get more of that work than that, but I well, think for now we've got enough for that on the way, so but yeah, let me continue on with this, so we'll quickly get this field done. It shouldn't take us too long, and... Yeah, once that uh, lorry is fully loaded and ready to go, we'll get all transported over, and then we'll pretty much wrap up the episode here, I think. actually see how much we've got. I think we've got almost a full out. Oh, maybe a couple of thousand a year short. There we go, just go off and unload. Now let's go and see how much we've got. So, actually no, not even close to a full load, but just over half, so still we're gonna have enough for the chickens. And yet the rest will go into making the seed. So, so yeah, we'll put wheat in. And with the liquid fertilizer, that'll be used to get seed. Along with the surrey. And actually, yeah, with the manure and water in there already. Let's just start making some solid fertilizer. So, yeah, all of that is on the way. We are as full as we're going to get for this loot. 60% full. I yeah, we've still got another two wheat kills to do. And it's off to the barley and oat. So that we'll deal with in the next episode. But yeah, in terms of that, I think once we get the harvesting done, I think we've got maybe two episodes left to go, I think, after this. Yeah, I think here, final harvest so I get a lot completed. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the end game as well. Obviously we've got to purchase that big old island we've got for the castle, but apart from that, I'm not sure yet, I still got all the sword in that to do. I think maybe for the penultimate episode and that. I think what we can do is get a land, a bit of land. And then use that to set up the next farmer. So quickly put some grass in. I'm gonna take two months to grow, so August, September, October, let's say. Now yeah, wrap up before Christmas. 
and then yeah, just get some soy spells done and just prep everything for the next farmer that's going to come here. So that will mean moving some of these bells and that. Unless I get the quick quick bell, actually not. Ooh. Eat that, so there's jackknife in action. Yeah, completely missed our turn, so still a cheeky cut. Oh yeah, I also got the forestry in that as well. I think, yeah, actually, let's get the forestry underway as well, so... Get some raw materials in, so... I don't think we'll sell them anything for profit. I think a lot of it's just going to be... Get some planks in that, some boards. And yeah, whoever comes here next, we'll have some materials to get any buildings made underway in that. And yeah, all sorts of other stuff we can do in these final few episodes. So yeah, I think, yeah, episode, episodes, perhaps three, three left, I think. But yeah, I'm absolutely, <laughs> I've said this many times before, I'm still loving the map. So, at the end of the day, we'll go on as it needs to and that. So I'm going to drag it out for too long. But nor am I just get everything done off camera. I may do time lapses or jump cut section, so for example have I say spend five ten minutes harvesting the sword on the net. And then boom jump cut or a little time lapse or something a bit of both. And yeah, there you go. That's all sort of done. But yeah, at the end of the day I'm not sure. I may put a community poll out on perhaps when this comes out uh, tomorrow or today if you're watching this, so at the moment it's Friday, so yeah, release on Saturday. And yeah, I think whilst we're here, let's go add fill up the sea production and then the chickens. But yeah, actually, no, you yeah, do that in the next episode, start off with. So yeah, I think honestly, that's where we'll leave it today. Yeah, I hate that jackknife in. So yeah, got a lot of work to do, and yeah, feel free to let me know of what you like, what you prefer, do you want us to continue on Court Farm? <coughs> do you want Vintage Survival to continue on a bit more? Or do you want, for example, Vintage Survival to end, or both series to end and start somewhere new? Or just focus on the three we've got at the moment of, which is Vintage Survival, Evergreen Valley and Ravenport. I think at the moment I can do free Let's Play series at the moment. I am planning on returning to work on that. Hopefully, if we can secure work on that, so I think once I secure work on that, the problem's going to be rather than it being every day I do videos, especially when it comes to mod views, map tours, and all that other good stuff. May likely be every other day, so yeah, we've got a couple of options in that. So yeah, let me know. But anyways, that's going to leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the like button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to channel yet, then please stir. But for I just do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, this will be Farmer Ever Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.